Nine ten. Nice swath here cut out. Oh, it's got an engraving. Huh. It's got a little stone, 95, 1230. Joshua. Huh. Don't know. Probably stainless. Let's see a mark. We'll take it home. A little stone in it. Another foreign coin. I think it's a euro cent. Something else down there. We got something going on here. Brought the Knox again. I'm gonna give this a whirl today. First target's a green nickel. Oh, look at this. Big sinkers. Big sinkers. Lots of rocks. Guts to be gold. Holy cow. 19. Back up here. Another weight. And these are big ones. Three ounce. Got a I got a nickel under that last lead weight. It was right underneath it. There's my dig hole over there. Under this rock, I'm getting a high tone. I flip that over with my shovel. That's why I use the shovel too. You can use it as a prying for these areas. Yeah, it's a little digging, but the targets are rich. They're not cheap junk targets usually. Either silver, gold, or lead in here. Heavier items. Well, got it right there. Dig it out. That's a thin quarter. I don't think it's silver though. I think it's a quarter. I don't know. We'll check it when we get back. It's thin. Sounded like silver. So many lead sinkers in my life. Get out of there. Don't fall back down in there. Oh, man. God. I'm trying to hold this damn camera. Don't tell oh. oh there it is right there. You gotta kinda use your feet when you're doing this. Look at that one. This is indicative of heavier targets. I know there's a big goldie waiting for me. No top on that one. That's the wheel to an old Tootsie toy. Now I've gotten I've been here five minutes. I got three big lead weights, four nickels, and this. Definitely got to be gold here. Yep. I don't know what year it is, but did you bring your head. You bring your headlamp. I did. Yeah, I'm gonna hunt into the dark tonight. Yep. Sweet, Mark. I don't know. It's really worn. 
That one's it. really. That's a mark. Is it? Yeah. So that's big lead weights, silver. There's got to be some gold in this place. And this is a little farther out, too, from where the other one was, remember? Yes. Yep. This one's a mercury dime, too. Another mark. Yeah, I've been dumping it on that bank. That's worn. It's tough making that one out. Well, they got a tag. And it's got Bill Ricca. Bill Ricca on there. I don't know. It's an old tag. All that was rock. And now it's sand. But... All of this now was sand, now it's rock. Wow, all right. Gonna head along that edge. Lit up, almost Christmas. Where's my gold? Sweet, that rang up good. Got a, get one. <laughs> nice. Jesus, been all uh, I'm I'm I've dug 30 nickels. 30! There it is. Oh, yeah. Yellow, too. That's how they come wow. out. Wow. It's nice. Looks like a about wedding time. band. It's about time, I mean. Yeah, I mean, I'm dying out here. I just got a buffalo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good size too. That's a good yep. size man, Tony. Oh, it's got something in it. Does it? Yeah. Most of the ones that come off this beach are inscribed. That'll clean up nice for you. Yep. 14K. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yep. Got a maker's mark in there. Boy, All that's right. It's a, a beauty, man. We're on the board with some gold out of this place. You got yep. a buffalo? All right. Yeah, it just came up. I've been pulling a ton of weights, nickels. Yep. But we're in the hot zone here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's got that gray patina on there. Yeah. You know the difference this end of the beach compared to go about yeah. another hundred yards. Remember how the clay down there? Yeah. That when I when I went down there tonight, I went to aluminum. Yep. And then no coins, and then to real light foil. So it moved up. You could tell how the cut moved up. But buffalo. You can see the outline. Sweet. Oh yeah, that's got some probably yeah. old, old bracelet or something. You, you, and this, they, you know, six seven inches in the muck. You don't, yeah. you wouldn't have got these with, no. with an explorer. No, no, this is no. picking up fine gold now. A lot of the stuff. Yep. But yeah, and then I got that. So hey, we got some silver too. trade. Trade two for yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the wrap up video. I haven't even put the stuff away from the last hunt. I moved it up. Uh, went out again in the morning um hit the first beach i was up uh on a couple of beaches a little farther to the north uh got a few pennies i got a euro coin a little euro cent it's a five on there a five euro dime nickel and i did get a stainless steel got a little stone on there person's name joshua um but it's definitely stainless steel it's got that little tiny diamond chip probably not real um, so I wasn't getting a whole lot of targets uh, a little bit of sand taken off not not gigantic amount so I moved um, if I'm not getting a lot of targets on a beach I typically will move around find another spot um, so I went down to the south and a few beaches down and uh, really interesting um, I walked out there and read the beach look for some low spots um, Lots of rocks. Immediately, I started getting some pretty interesting sinkers. Uh, I don't know if you could see the color of this, but it's a it's a real whitish gray. Um, whitish gray sinkers, especially big ones. When you find those on a beach, stop right there. Don't move and keep detecting that beach. It's a dead giveaway. Uh, when you find this, you're going to find gold and silver. There's no doubt about it. 
Um, I found the, that one. I hit two or three others in, in the same area. Same color pretty much. Um, some of them I got the string still stuck on them. I uh, was finding little lead Tootsie Toy pieces and tires. Uh, little lead pieces, a chunk. Um, other little pieces of lead. Haven't cleaned up some of this stuff. I don't know if you know what it is. Um, and then, and mixed in with that, nickel after nickel after nickel all over the place. And nickels and these old lead, especially the gray ones, that's what I really key off of. When I see these two items on a beach, like I say, it's gold bearing. And uh, usually you'll find some gold and silver there. Did end up with two mercury dimes. Uh, can't make the dates off. I haven't cleaned them yet. But they are mercs. So two silver dimes. Um, got a tag. Uh, it says Nestle. I think it's a, uh, it's a dog tag, but there's no date on there. For Bill Ricca Mass. So I can't tell how old it is. It looks older, though. It's stainless, I think. I think they make those like that anymore. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, got some uh, buffalo head nickels. A few buffaloes. There's one there. Did get another one. Got to clean these nickels up. See if there's anything interesting in there. Got some pennies. Uh, and uh, as for the best find of the day, I got a 14 karat wedding band. And it's marked on the inside. And it says... Dason, I think it says, 14 carats, so here is gold, and that's how I read the beach. Went south on that beach, and you could feel it petering out, the coins dried up. You started to pick up aluminum, then you went into the foil, so then I just did a Yui, came right back to the cut, and that's how you want to play it. A lot of people, when they get on a beach, they'll do zigzag patterns, and they'll find the low spot that way. Some of the more experienced detectorists can actually look at a beach and read it, see the low spots, kind of know where the stuff is collecting. So, um, But that's how I do it now. I'll, I'll run around, test some spots, uh, dig a few holes, see what the sand uh, texture is. Is there different colors sand? Like I say, but these, this the best way to tell is when you find these, they're whitish. It's almost a whitish gray. Uh, sometimes the tops are missing, like in this case on these pyramid sinkers. And uh, when you find those color sinkers on a beach, it's like I say, a dead giveaway. Stop right there, slow down, grit it out. You're gonna you're gonna get something good. Um, that's probably the best tip I could ever give somebody on on reading beaches. So, but it was a tremendous hunt. We did good. We'll head back tomorrow. I believe there is more gold in this area. Hopefully we'll bag a second one. Um, this will probably, all this stuff is going to be uh, on my new finds now because I did my wrap-up video for the year. So we'll carry this over into next year. So I'm on the board at least with some gold for this next year. And uh, hopefully it will be promising. want to say thank you. And uh, since probably Christmas is over now, um, I want to wish everybody a new year. Happy New Year if I don't do any other videos. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe.